this time this we say we have summation y minus when the summation is multiplying a constant value it change to n it change to n so when you say summation times beta naught we have any beta naught cap because this is a constant value but now multiplying the summation with this but this beta one now is not alone it's together with the variable x so this time this we have minus beta one cap summation x is equal to zero is equal to zero now we can make y sort of formula here by moving this negative side to the other side then we have this this is equal to n beta naught cap plus beta one cap summation x class we call this to be OLX equation one. We call this to be OLS what? Equation one. Now, let's go back. Let's go back to OLS criterion. Now, from OLS criterion, remember we only differentiate with respect to not alone. Now, this time around, let's now differentiate with respect to beta one. Let's differentiate with respect to beta one. So, in differentiate with respect to beta one, we have u squared all over the beta one now, the beta one cap. So in doing this, we have this, right? But, but this is known as what? Beta one cap x, right? So if we are to differentiate this, we have minus x. We have minus x, then write what you have inside bracket the way it is. The way it is, then we have, we have summation y minus beta not, beta not cap, minus beta one cap x, 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 then square minus one, then multiply the power by two at f of z is equal to zero, is equal to zero. So if you are to expand this with this, then we have, we have minus two x summation y minus beta one cap minus beta, beta not cap, beta one cap x, then this, is good, then we have is equal to zero, right? Then the intention here is we don't need this minus two here also, then we also divide both sides by what? By minus two. Then by dividing both sides by minus two, we have plus, by dividing both sides by minus two, so we have x summation y, minus beta one cap, minus beta, beta not cap minus beta one cap x is equal to zero, right? Is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Now, let's expand this. Now, we are multiplying variable x with summation to open what we have inside the bracket, to open what we have inside the bracket. So the summation x times y, we have summation x, y, then summation x, now this time around now, the, it is not, summation is not multiplying the constant value because it's coming with the variable. It's coming with the variable now. So summation x multiplied by beta naught, we have minus beta naught cap summation x. Summation x then, summation x times this we have minus beta one, beta one cap summation x square at f of c. Everything is still equal to what? Is equal to zero, right? So we can also move this to the other side to eradicate the minus sign. So we can say we have x y is equal to beta naught cap x plus beta one cap x square, right? Class, we call this to be OLX equation two. Class, we call this to be OLX equation two, right? So we also get the formula for our parameter now. Then we try to combine the two equations together to find, you know, the formula. To get the formula, or probably use the Kramers rule. Now, we can say from equation one, From, from, I will say, from OLX equation one and two, 
from ONS equation one and two. Equation one, we have, we have this is equal to n eta naught cap plus beta one from the general x. Then equation two, we have this is equal to beta naught cap x plus beta one right class so this is equation one and this is what equation two equation one equation two so what can we do here class equation one equation two so we can use the camera tool to find you know the formula for the parameter so let's say using camera's what rule and using the camera's rule so we can our aim is to get the beta 1 and beta 2 formula. So we can say, okay, for general determinant, the general determinant can be n summation x, summation x, summation x squared, right? And the intention is to get the beta naught cap and beta 1 cap, right? The unknown value here is known as what? Summation y and summation xy. Summation y and summation xy. Now, to find that general determinant, the general determinant here will be, you multiply this with this and this with this, right? That's the matrix, the matrix method. Multiply this with this. So multiplying this with this, we have any summation x square, then the constant minus there, a matrix. The constant minus, this time this we have, Summation x square. So this is what we call a general, you know, determinant. So after the general determinant, for us to get the beta naught here, you remove the first letter here and replace with this. You remove the first letter here and replace with this, right? Now, class, when you remove the first letter here, replace with y, x, y, right? Then we have x, x squared, right? Right? So when you remove this, then we, we perform the same thing. Multiply this with this, then this with this now we have summation x squared, summation y, and this with this we have minus summation what? Summation x summation x y right class so for us to get the beta naught now the beta naught the beta naught is the same thing the beta naught the beta naught is the same thing as the determinant of beta naught all over general determinant right general determinant and this is determinant of beta naught so the final answer or the formula for beta naught will now be x squared will be x squared summation y minus summation x summation xy all over the general determinant which is n y squared minus x x squared class we call this formula to be the actual formula call the formula to be actual formula Right? Now, for us to get the beta 1 now, the actual formula of beta 1, class, this time around, the actual formula of beta 1, you replace this one the way it is, then you remove this and replace with this. Right? You remove this one, then replace with this. Then we cannot say that. To get the beta 1 cap now, right, I'm replacing this back. Right? Then replace with this. We have this. Right? Now, multiply. This time, this we have any summation x, y minus summation x, summation y, right? Also remember that the beta naught or beta 1 cap, sorry, is the determinant of what? The determinant of beta 1 cap all over general determinant. And you know this is what we call a determinant of beta naught. 
Now, how do we do this? Then we say that any key to the word, a multi variable, you know, it that means to be a multiple regression analysis or multi variable what? Regression, right? Which is two. So this one is just only on the simple analysis and the formula that we have here is known as what? The actual formula. It's known as the actual formula. We also have what we call a deviation formula. But the next slide by God Grace, I will show you how to prove, you know, the regression analysis using the deviation formula. Thank you.